New details tonight about a missing three year old from Bryan. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Rangel and I'm Robert Burns. It was late last week when police found human remains while searching for Raven Shields. Tonight they are now combining what was a missing child case with a murder investigation as investigators still though not identifying those remains. Fox 44's Noelle Mendoza live from the studio with the latest. That's right, Robert. Um, we have uncovered new information about Virginia Adams, who is Raven Shields' mother. Back in 2004, she married Timothy Lewis. Right now, he is serving a life sentence for the death of her four-year-old son back in 2005. I don't know. I just, they wave every once in a while. They, they seem nice, but I mean, I don't see how anybody over there wouldn't know what happened. Neighbors in this small Bryan community left shocked by the discovery of human remains just yards away from their home. I mean, I've seen that girl on the news, but I never knew she was that close. For police, that means adding a murder investigation while they continue searching for Raven. Obviously, we have not identified yet. The remains are at the corner. Medical examiner to try to do a positive identification. So we're waiting on that to determine whether or not they are the child we were looking for or whether they're someone else. During a press conference over the weekend, Bryan Police Department's chief saying those remains could be those of Raven Shields. We located decomposed remains that are consistent with the size of a young child. Her mother, Virginia Adams, formerly known as Virginia Lewis, still sits in jail. Virginia Adams was arrested on Wednesday for interfering with child custody. And the last I heard was she was still incarcerated at the Brazos County Jail. We contacted CPS, which only had this to say. Since it's still under investigation, the only thing that we can say is that we're investigating and working with law enforcement. We also asked police about Virginia's husband, Timothy. I don't have any information about him at all. But they do say they aren't going to rest until someone is held responsible. We're going to do everything in our power to investigate this fully so that we can find the answers that we need and hopefully bring whoever did this to justice. Now, as of right now, the Bryan Police Department is waiting to get the results from the medical examiner. That's when we will know if the search continues for three-year-old Raven Shields. In the studio, Noelle Mendoza, Fox 44 News.